some of that. It's good. It's okay, kitty. Get some. Get some of that. There you go. There you go. Are you going to bite me? You are giving me the eyes of death. Today, I am grooming Salem, and she appears to be a cat. Since I don't consider myself to be a cat tree, I am clipping her murder mittens before I bathe her. A lot of people ask me how I get so many well-behaved cats. There's two explanations for this. Number one is that the average person wouldn't bring their cat to the groomers if they know they are the spawn of Satan, heavy on most people. And number two is that cats can act very differently outside of their usual environment and when they're elevated. As you've seen with Spicy Mayonnaise, every time I see him, he becomes a bit more ballsy with me. You're mad. That's because he's getting more comfortable as the environment isn't new anymore. Looks like I have to move shops. As much as I love the rage cage for drying cats, there is one major design flaw. I guess she said fluff this. Okay. The de-shedding shampoo and conditioner helped to loosen up her undercoat, and now I can remove it using my slicker brush and my cat comb. I finish off her brushing with the Equi Groomer. If you're using the Equi Groomer on your pet and you feel that it's not removing enough hair, you might want to try brushing against the growth of the hair as opposed to with the growth of the hair. I spray her down in bubblegum pet cologne and she's all finished. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the Sly Salem. A sign of peace. There we go. One more. One more. Good cat.